you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Silence the doubters. This is the SSL edition. If you don't know what SSL is, what are you doing? This is a Shift Summer League. So listen, here's how this works. If you have never seen this before, we all select a player, a team, maybe a whatever, region. really. Yeah, something, <laughs> a, a person, place, or thing, a noun. <laughs> <laughs> we no, select no. Uh, someone to say that we believe in when maybe the community has shown a little bit of doubt. And I'll just go ahead and kick us off here. Uh, for Shift Summer League, for the league play, I think that Juicy Justin is going to return to absolute top-tier form. I think he's going to be back in the conversation for maybe a top six, seven, eight player in the region. Um, I think the Rebellion performance throughout the season was subpar they had a bad month let's be yeah. honest they had a really but, but, bad but month it, killed their season even 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 if you just look across the board i still had higher expectations for them at the beginning of the season i thought that would be a, a team that is like consistently fighting for semifinals. like i did not think that they would be worried in swiss stage i certainly didn't think they would miss a top 16 um and so i think that 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 team definitely could have and should have performed better i like the the talent on that roster i think two pieces is legit uh, you know, a, a top tier talent still developing, but um, I, I like that team. I like Parth. I like the fact that they continue to believe in one another. And I still think Justin's got it. I still think he's got it. I look at him move around the field. I think he is capable. I think he is, you know, on par with, with uh, still in that S a tier talent as far as capability, but he's got to prove it. That team's got to be effective as a unit so far. They haven't done so, but I think league play, will harken back to the Justin uh, peak times, and it will it will give him the 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 juice that he needs. It's going to be yeah, tough I mean, because NA is stacked. It is, but yeah, it is definitely a chance for him to prove himself outside of RLCS. Yeah, and and and, and Shopify as well. I mean, like I said, yeah. they had a they had a catastrophic month, right? If you take out the the catastrophic month that was. Open qualifiers two and three, where they missed the regional that came last place. Yeah. They had an eighth, they had a fourth, eighth, eighth, second. That puts them right on the major hunt, the world championship hunt. Uh, but I would agree that I don't think they should they they, they I mean they should have been making every top eight. There's yeah, no just because they had a bad that month was off. Mm -hmm. Like that's a third of the season. Um, but I think they finished so strongly, and I think a lot of people, myself included, thought that they should have been and they would have performed better at the LAN than OG did because they have a lot uh, more aggressive and mechanical of a play style. Um, so it's, you know, I agree because Justin, Mr. Juicy Justin, mm -hmm. I think him and his team have to prove that we're right. Because if they, they come up to. there and they look mid again, then we're like, well, my fault. They just peaked <laughs> one regional. My fault. Um, yeah, Jens, yeah, so what about you? Who who, who, who you sounds? Who's doubting I, you well, Who am I silencing? The doubters. I'm silencing Don't give the him doubters. that power. Don't give him that power. <laughs> He's already got mod in the chat. <laughs> And it's all about the team with the worst name. <laughs> the worst name uh -huh. in SSL. Do you know what I'm talking about? RMC. JJ Rocks? RMC. <laughs> Rattles Magic Cheese. <laughs> Only that would that is already enough for me to say I'm sizing the doubters because I believe in them to get a better name. That's that's their main goal of the shift summary. Come up with a better name. You put a deadline on it. Can't play if you can't come up with a better there name. There you go. I mean, that's not official, but it's unofficial. Get a better name. Uh, but maybe this is actually their chance to prove that they deserve a better name like Cloud9 or <laughs> M80. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's a better name. I prove agree. yourself in the shift summary. Get a better name. I think this is a team that's coming out coming out there as a bit of a wild card in terms of like what kind of stacked competition you have in NA at the moment, especially with all the teams participating in SSL. But, you know, I think they can absolutely go crazy in a league play format. You know, it's, it's such a different style of playing Rocket League mm -hmm. when you're not just grinding an entire day down to get as far as possible get through a Swiss stage or whatever. You just need to prepare for those couple of matches. And like Jason said, no, not Jason, Michael, what the fuck? What the hell are you doing in chat? 
Snakes Den Rattles. That's right. Snakes, Snakes Den, Den Rattles. rattles. That, sounds that, good, would, man. that would already be a better name than <laughs> Rattles Magic Cheese. Come on. Um, yeah, I mean, I know in other esports, just like putting your names together, but it's always just an acronym. It's not Rattles Magic Cheese. They would just be RMC. That's just the whole name. So I don't know what the I name still is. Still I still don't. No. Um, no. Not for me. For me, I'm putting all of Europe. All of Europe is going to silence the devils. You know why? Because my wonderful, all of Europe. My wonderful co-host didn't even think about Europe when I was talking about this, and I believe that they're echoing the sentiments of the entire community when they say they don't care about the European Shift Summer League for some reason because a bunch of fraud Frenchmen who can't even make major finals anymore, <laughs> washed, um, can't are, are decided not to play. <laughs> Listen, what has Europe always been known for? Depth, depth, depth. We've always been to hear, oh, EU's not inconsistent. It's deep. No, they have a thousand good players. They could all come to NA and win, even though G2 beats them all the time. Oh, but G2 lost that one time when they were freestyling against Oxygen. Shut up. Okay. Um, I think that this is actually going to be quite a good tournament because without all the French teams playing, uh, it's going to give a chance for that depth, which is real. And I was making fun of it, which is real to really shine. It's going to be a really tough play-in, as we saw with a lot of teams missing regionals or open qualifiers in the regular season that would then go and make another open qualifier and you know get in the top eight. Um, you know, I, I believe, you know, top Cougars made like three, they made like three regionals and they made round five splits, all three of them. Like that's how tight the competition is. So I think, well, maybe the name value won't be there. The organizational name value won't be there. It's going to be highly competitive because that next tier of European talent is almost a, like identical. It's yeah. anybody on any day can beat anybody for sure. I think it's going to be very, very entertaining. And I think you viewer stream viewer or pod viewer would be a, a fool not to tune in to every shift summer league European game, especially as it comes to the end of that league play. Cause I bet you the difference between 10th place and fourth place is going to be mighty, mighty thin. I mean, uh, that was all yours. I didn't want to interrupt in the European segment there, but of course I'm excited for the European portion of the shift summer league. I mean, yeah. I'm already excited that it starts at 7 PM and I can actually just watch it at a normal <laughs> time because 7 PM Eastern time for NA is a little bit late. I will yeah, probably be moderating the chat and getting all the interviews ready until 5 a.m. in the morning. But we'll see about that when it happens. Hmm. Uh, Cast, can we donate some to the stream so that Jens can buy some like caffeine pills? Uh, <laughs> any gifted subs? Uh, your Twitch primes so will. I don't. To I don't even. <laughs> uh, tea is is as far as I go when it comes to caffeine. So I don't, don't European, even drink coffee awesome. or energy energy drinks. That's not for me. Uh, once I introduce you to the Red Bull, it'll be over. He'll be upset. Yeah, dude will never sleep again. That, that, that stuff that tastes like liquid plastic. That's how I would describe it. Now you got to get the good flavored ones they have now, like the dragon fruit one. Special, oh, thanks. Stuff. Special stuff. Thank you for watching this segment of the Shiftcast. Again, you can catch the full episode here on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching.